Are you blocking the tire? That's the most important thing is the tire. I feel like a pop. I'm coming in hot, coming in hot. Just like the fajita. I write what I live. My life in the speaker. I'm nice to the flow. Just like the demeanor. I'm feeding my fam. I'm feeding the meter. Uh, they got the iron while I got the steamer. I bring the fire, but you never see them. I testify, I don't need a subpoena. They want my soul ready to go to Korea. I love my dog just like I'm Peter. Gotta protect them. I made the call it with just. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, so, what are we doing today? Today's maintenance day, or at least the maintenance day for the trailer, because we did maintenance on the truck already. So, it's the trailer's day today. Yep. Kind of a bunch of little things that just start adding up. Um, yeah, we had a blowout uh, on our last trip uh, to Arizona. Um, we did change the tire. We changed it pretty quickly, actually. Uh, it only took us like 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, surprisingly I, that was the first time I ever taking the tire off the trailer but uh, it went pretty quickly however when we put the tire back um, we didn't put it in the right position um, meaning we kind we of like blocked the yeah, tire behind it the stem the valve stem get to the valve. yeah so we can't get to the valve stem so we can't check the uh, tire pressure and we can't even put air in the tire so what we're gonna do today is uh, we're just gonna uh, remove the tire and then just uh, like Rotate Probably it. Uh, rotate it, uh, <laughs> maybe a quarter turn or so uh, until we can see that we have access to that uh, valve stem behind the, behind the tire. What else we got? I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty it. much it. And then uh, hopefully we'll uh, hit the road by the end of the week. Uh, we just had a couple of things to catch up at the house. So we should be back on the road by, by the end of the week. Yep. All right. All right. safety chains because we're not going yeah we're just pulling out in the middle all right let's pull out all right we're just gonna pull the trailer out a little bit because it was on dirt back there so we're just gonna bring it until it's over the um all right that's good all right yep and this is the actually no i'm sorry these are not the tires it's the other side <laughs> i already forgot what side the the tires are on. Uh, so let's take a look back here. And these are the two new tires that we put on. And if you see on this rim, you can see the um, Valve stem, I think you can see it. I'm not sure. But there's a valve stem there on the back tire that we have access to. And here's the stem to the front tire. Well, on this tire, we have access to the front one, but there's no, cannot see the, the valve stem on the back. Yeah, so. The valve stem on the tire in the back is like right behind this piece here, um, which makes it impossible to get to. You can uh, barely see it here on this side. You can see it right there. Yeah, right there. So it's being blocked by, by this piece of the rim here. So what we're gonna do is just remove the rim and rotate it maybe one or two, maybe even a, a quarter of a turn, uh, or at least until we see the other uh, uh, the valve stem in the back, and <laughs> One, then we'll just two, three, <laughs> at least a quarter, <laughs> something like that. Just at least until you have access, easy access to the valve stem in the back. All right. So, all right. First things first. You're gonna grab your blanket, right, and lay it out back here so you have access to get underneath the trailer, and uh, you're gonna lay on it. So go ahead and lay out your bed. That's good 
Yeah. Push it, uh, yeah, pull it uh, more inside because that's where you probably you'll be laying your head on. Okay. All right, uh, that's probably a little too close. You might, you might actually want to get it out here a little bit because you're going to be a little too close. You're going to be behind this uh, mud guard. All right, that's step one. Step two, let's go get the jack. Is this open? I think so. Oh. All right, this is where we keep all our chains, ratchets, and our jack. Um, our jack is kind of buried because we don't anticipate on using it so often as we have. The fuck? Oh, I see. Yeah, just pull it out. You be able to. Oh, you know what? You might have to take those ratchets out because we need the wood. Yeah, just lay them on the ground. I yeah, the first always time. use gloves. They're over there, right where exactly where they can't be used. Let's grab this guy first. You need those two pieces, two pieces of wood. You want two? Or? Just two pieces. You just need two pieces of wood. And I'll show you guys why we need the two pieces of wood soon. Uh, let me grab these two handles for the jack. All right. So now that we have our jack and our pieces of wood, we're going gloves. to, we're going to, yes, and you definitely use gloves. You guys are going to get really dirty. It, it just doesn't matter how often you clean your rooms or your, your equipment. Let me get on a different angle so we can show everybody where we're going to put the jack. So I'm going to get under the trailer as well. All right, we are underneath the trailer. And there's Joe. Dark. <laughs> Can't barely see you, but all right. So we got our pieces of wood, as you can see, and here is our axle. We're going to put the jack right directly underneath the axle. Uh, I got the pieces of wood just so that the jack will distribute the weight a little bit more than just on one uh, on one point on the ground because it may sink. Right. Um, now unscrew the top of the jack, yes, until either it touches it or it's all the way up. All right, it touched, all right. Sometimes it won't touch, but uh, make sure it's centered on the bottom of the this axle here. It's not off to one side or the other because it may slip, right? And you don't want that to happen. Is it centered? It is pretty centered. I want to move it a little bit this way though. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now you make sure that the jack is locked in the locked position. It is locked. Turn clockwise and make sure it's all the way. All right, now we just start cranking it. Keep an eye on the jack and make sure that it doesn't um, slip. Also, let's wait until this train goes by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's so it, is the jack centered on the axle? It is centered, yep. it's locked, all right. and it's loaded. So um, <laughs> go ahead and start cranking the jack. And keep an eye out and make sure that the trailer doesn't move forward or back as you're cranking it. Alright, keep going. And the tires should just slightly lift off the ground. You don't need it very high, but as long as it's about a uh, half inch or so off the ground, you should be able to pull the tires off. Keep cranking it, keep cranking it. You got this, you got this. All right, and... Is that good? As you can see, the tires are about a half inch off the ground now. That's all you need, that's it. So, all right, now we got the trailer up. We're gonna leave this alone and head on to the other side. All right, so, um, I bought myself this uh, Milwaukee um, impact wrench. It was a little pricey, but I can tell you it was already worth it and it's already got its money's worth. Um, just based on the two blowouts that we had, actually it was two, not just the one blowout. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what happened, but the, the inner tire, yeah, the inner tire blew. Uh, we replaced it, we had a long trip out to Arizona, and I believe on the way back, 
that brand new tire also blew. So I'm not sure if it was just a coincidence or what happened, but it, uh, when I got back home, there was a hole in it and it was just completely worn out. I think like it was, it was dragging. Than the other one. Yes, it, it was, it was definitely the worse than the first one. So I'm not sure what it, what happened. The, 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 uh, what is it, the, the 10 ply? They're all 10 ply. I know it should go up to 16, but they, since they were 10 ply, I had bought a brand new 10 ply tire and that's what I put on there. And it also wore out and blew out. Now, the, the weariness or because it was worn out could have been just because it blew out and just dragging it or I'm not sure what, what the deal was, but it was completely bald and there was a hole in it. Uh, but anyways, um, so, it, we used the impact wrench twice and it was already worth it. Now we're going to use it again. Um, definitely get yourself a nice impact wrench like this and with a good uh, impact socket. Uh, 20, I think it's a 27 if I'm not mistaken. 27. 27. Yep. Yeah, it's a 27. Um, all right, so go ahead and let's start removing the lug nuts. Make sure it's going to counterclockwise. It is. There you go. You just remove those lug nuts by hand and as, it, as you saw the tire already came loose sometimes they might um, be stuck on there you could just kick it with your foot and it'll come loose or uh, if you have a little hammer or sledgehammer just hit the tire not the rim Now you are going to remove that retention plate that's on the rim. Okay. Yep. Set that aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove or pull the rim out just a little bit and rotate it just like one, um, one. I'm not sure what you call it. One pattern over. One, just one. Yep. Pull over. Yep. Um. Uh, uh, clockwise doesn't matter until doesn't we see matter? the until we see the um, or until we have access to that uh, uh, valve stem. Okay. All right. So this is gonna be a little heavy. Okay. Right about there. Okay, so we rotated it just a little bit and now we can actually see the valve stem through the hole on the rim. So now we're just gonna that place the rim back in place. Easy. Yeah, let's see how easy it is to get no, that I rim in place thought, right now. I thought it was um, gonna be rotated more than what it was. Okay, hold on. Use your brain, hopefully. Use your brain and your muscles. Harder, not harder. I'm trying to think of the best way I can do this because I don't have brute strength. Like most people. And so you got it there. Now you can get to it. That's right there. Very good. Now let's put your retention plate on. Make sure that that uh, knob or that tab is facing outwards. Yep. And then always start your your nuts by hand and they're directional so make sure that the tapered part goes facing inward right. yep okay. should i like push this back or is no this, just is just to get started is fine it doesn't matter it is they're all going to be hand tight It's like hard to get on and off. I think it's that one. I don't know, who knows. 
All right, so now you're gonna switch the direction on the compact wrench. So go ahead and start with the top one so that the rim actually goes in place. So you're just gonna just snug it. Don't uh, let it get too tight. Keep going. All right, that's it. Uh, you even heard the difference in the impact wrench because uh, it felt like the, the bolt already uh, went back. So now go ahead and go right across from the, the one that you just installed. You can rotate the rim if you like. It's easier. And do the same thing until the impact, until that nut touches the retention plate. Yep, that's it. Now back across. No, the one right there. Up. Oh, this yep. one. Jesus Christ. Yep. That one. Alright. Now this one you can actually tighten it just a little bit more now what I tend to look at is the your socket here will you, you can see that it starts to rotate right as you're as you're tightening the, the bolt but once it's once it starts to stop you can see that it starts to stop that's as far as you want to go you don't want to uh, super tighten these because you may end up breaking that stud so go ahead and uh, keep an eye on your socket as you're uh, tightening it down this one's gonna go all the yep, way yep Keep going. All right, one more. Yep. See how it doesn't turn anymore? You're you're done. Now go across. Keep an eye on your socket, and see how. It, keep going. All right, that's about it. Now back to this one. All right, that's it. I think it's that one. Yep. Yep, that's it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, wait. I think it was this, this one now. Yeah. I gotta keep an eye on this because I don't keep me sane. Yep, that's as far as you wanna go. Right, okay. Um, this guy... Dude, go to this one because I think that one we did already. That one even looked not even... That's it, that's it. Back that's down to, yeah, that one's loose. Very. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go around. So start based off of that little tab yeah. that's there, and then just start going around and just hit it, and make sure if, if the your socket is not turning, just stop, just hit it and stop. If it keeps turning, then just keep turning it. Now they're all tight. Yeah. Yep. So now we're gonna get back underneath the trailer and lower it. All right, we're back under the trailer. All right, so you're gonna take your handle from your jack and install it on that nipple in the front with that flat piece. Yep. Uh, put the whole handle on there so you have more leverage and you're going to turn it counterclockwise very slowly because the trailer is going to come down. Timber! It's coming down, coming down, down. All right, turn release it all the way now. Yep, all right, so that's as far as it's going to go. Now the jack is still under pressure, 
So what you're gonna have to do is kind of like push, put pressure on it. You can do it with the wood to bring that piece that you screwed on, to bring it down a little bit so you can unscrew it. As you can you see, there's like about, up? as you can see, there's about like what a mean, half push inch. Up? Um, you yeah, you can push up on the jack or you can push up on the wood to look? put pressure on the jack. So you have to kind of like either put, lift the wood up, like, so you see how it's going. Yeah. All right, now you should be able to pull oh, it out. Oh, yeah. There you go. And now you can just unscrew or screw that thing back down. And uh, that's it. Cool. Pretty simple, right? To replace a tire. Hey, <laughs> if, a, if a ballerina can do it, yeah. everyone can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, so now we just put the stuff away. It's done. On to the next one. Woo! All right. We're, we're keeping it hot, right? All we're right. Keeping it hot. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty much how we change tires. Um, we don't have a torque wrench yet, but uh, this is just, we're using what we have. Um, I mean, if you guys have a better way of doing things, let us know. And I mean, we see all the comments, so. Um, but I hope this was helpful for you guys, at least somewhat. Um, it's not that hard. I can change it, so I think if I can do it, anyone can. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll be it for the video today. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us on all our social media. I post on Insta pretty much every single day, um, like on our stories and stuff, so you guys will get daily updates that way. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it hot. Like always. Keep it hot. Keep it hot. <laughs>